Okay, so now in for, for this example, we are going to start off with the geometry of our torso structures already defined. In case that you are interested how to draw these uh, truss geometries with Grasshopper, I have a whole other course for just that topic. So feel free to dig into that. Okay, so this is our cluster. And here, uh, I mean, you can take a look if you want, of course, to the Grasshopper definition how to draw these uh, truss geometries, but we are going to start from here. So basically, what do we have here? We have a grasshopper definition that takes these input parameters, the height of our truss, the length, the number of subdivisions, also the line load, and the typology of our truss structure, right? So we can play with the length, as you can see, we can also play with the, uh, with the height, with the length now, also with the number of subdivisions. And as we can see, as we are going to see later on, we can also change the line load and the trust typology. So this would be the so-called Pratt trust, and you can identify it because of this orientation of the diagonals, right, from uh, which are not um, going to the support, but in the other orientation, let's say. And we have, we have also the so-called whole trust, and finally the Warren trust, right? Okay, so let's start off with the Pratt trust, and here we have our um, geometry objects that we are going to use to define our Caramba model right now.